What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we're pretty much one day removed from Clash at the Castle. And me personally, I enjoyed the show. And uh, I had a great time watching it with you guys on uh, on YouTube yesterday for the live stream. It was fun. It was a, a great PLE in my personal opinion. But there are a lot of people on social media that did not like the finish to how things played out between Damian Priest and and uh drew mcintyre i've even seen a clip of people at the arena they were pissed i mean everyone that was at the at the ple live they were upset like all you heard was boozing and just people were pissed which understandably so they were wanting their hometown hero to win and uh become the new wwe world heavyweight champion and then there's some people on social media that completely hate this decision and are saying some of the most wildest things over a wrestling storyline. I'm actually going to show y'all one of them that I saw on my Twitter and I had to make a video on this because this is not the only person I've seen tweet some wild stuff because Drew McIntyre didn't get the chance to finish his story at uh, Clash at the Castle this year. Let me pull up this just weird tweet from this individual man because it, it makes no sense so this is what i had tweeted people like this loser are not real wrestling fans because their favorite didn't win it's not that deep this person decided to tweet this fuck cm punk fuck triple h i hope you fucking die of a heart attack and fuck wwe i'm fucking done and fucking sick for fucking years of waiting for this absolute shit he should have never resigned and if you're offended fuck you too there's a lot of f-bombs being dropped in this particular uh tweet from this individual and this is not the only person i've seen tweet some wild stuff first and foremost sitting up here saying i hope you die of a heart attack knowing you know triple h's uh heart condition it's really unnecessary. You can't say you're a wrestling fan. And obviously from this picture, he's a Drew McIntyre fan. But you can't even say you're a fan of Drew McIntyre if you're talking about the guy that's employing him, one. And, you know, obviously he was okay with the decision. Obviously he went along with the decision. So if you're a fan of Drew, you know Drew's obviously, you know, cool with triple h for the most part you know they've worked together for many years like you that wouldn't even i don't think drew would want you to you know be on that type of time and wishing death upon his employer someone that he works with like that doesn't even make any sense one and two like i said i'm sure he knew this was gonna happen he's in on the story and then for those who are really really upset like this individual because drew mcintyre didn't win the championship Y'all got to understand that there's a bigger picture here. The bigger picture is CM Punk and Drew McIntyre's feud. Their feud so far is arguably the best feud in WWE right now. And they haven't even fought each other. And their feud is so good, it doesn't need the World Heavyweight Championship to be on the line. Say, for example, Drew does win, right? And I wouldn't have tripped if he did. He would have got that hometown moment. Drew does win. You're going to only have Drew hold the title for money in the bank and then drop it to Gunther because that's what's going to happen. Whoever has the title is losing to Gunther. Gunther's going into Bash in, Ber Bash in Berlin as the world heavyweight champion. What are we talking about? That makes no sense to have Drew hold the title only for him to drop it. To Gunther. Would the match be great? Sure. But that's a waste of time. No. It doesn't make sense for even CM Punk to screw over Drew in that match. It makes better sense from a story and a narrative standpoint to have CM Punk screw over Drew McIntyre in his home. Because now we're going to see this guy crash out even more. Now they're building this feud up even more. Like what are we doing? Like, that makes no sense to just throw the title on the guy only for him to have it for like a month and a half, if that, to drop it to somebody else. 
No. And once again, their feud is bigger. It's way bigger than the championship. I'm just being honest with you. It is. People want to see this feud play out. And it's getting really good. And we, we they haven't even had a match. What are we talking about? I get it. You wanted Drew to win at Clash at the Castle. He didn't win at the first one, which a lot of people felt was a misstep. And those same people feel some type of way that Cody Rhodes beat Roman Reigns. Those same people that felt like Drew should have beat Roman at that time are the same people, a lot of them, are the same people that felt like Cody shouldn't have beaten Roman. But you know how fickle rec wrestling fans can be, so I'm not surprised by that. But come on now. Wishing death upon people is just I, I could never do that on for a wrestling angle of all things to really get mad about a wrestling story angle or your your guy didn't win when cody didn't win at wrestlemania 39 was i disappointed of course but i didn't sit up here and say oh fuck triple h fuck vince mcmahon i wish they died like no no I was hoping they would do figure out something. It was a long roundabout way to get Cody to finally finish the story, but it worked out. Cool. What else? Yeah, I don't think this is going to be even bigger for Drew McIntyre when Drew and CM Punk have their matchup. I, hell, I even think on their very first match, Drew is going to fucking win. Drew's going to win. Like, I, I, think we, I think we just get so used to instant gratification from a lot of things in social media and just what we watch and and what we want as a society we love the instant gratification that we tend to forget that sometimes the longer route is the better route and right now drew mcintyre and cm punk their feud is bigger than the world heavyweight championship so if you're one of these people that sit up here and go on social media and saying Oh, I wish this person was dead and all this other stuff because your wrestler, your favorite wrestler didn't win a match. You're not a real wrestling fan. You can't be. You cannot be. You're a clown. You're an idiot. You're a goof. I know this sounds so cliche, but go outside, bro. There's no way you can have an actual legitimate life if you go on social media and this is what you tweet because... Your guy didn't win. What the fuck are we doing? It's weird. It's weird. It's cringe. You guys are fucking idiots. There's nothing wrong with not liking a decision. I'm okay with that. That's fine. But acting like it's the end of the world? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Ridiculous. So I just wanted to make this video because this is not the only person I've seen, but this was the most egregious tweet I had recently seen about people being upset that Drew didn't win. And now Triple H is this horrible human being and wishing death upon him. It's fucking stupid. Comment down below. Let me know. Have y'all been seeing people really get that upset that Drew didn't win? And I'm not talking about the people that were there in attendance. Obviously, they should be upset. That was their hometown hero. He didn't get the job done because of CM Punk I get it but I'm talking about those on social media that literally are tweeting weird stuff like this if you've seen this let me know what's the wildest like I guess wrestling take or the wildest comment you've seen in regards to Drew McIntyre not winning and CM Punk screwing him over let me know I want to see how wild people have gotten on social media over this whole entire situation but i appreciate all the love and support y'all shown on the channel road to 150k and i'm still gonna be the youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace